Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, out here for another gear view, and today I'm talking about something kind of cool. This right here, attached to my DT and VSs, and this is the AN VRS Mark III, Active Night Vision Recording System by Unobtainium Gear. So, broad strokes, what are these things? I'll give you a close up in a minute and kind of a little rundown of how they work, components, but big picture. It's a mission recorder. So it is this unit here with a ribbon cable coming back to a little camera that's basically placed right in front of your eye. So when you're looking through night vision and it records everything that you see through said night vision. And it will just run constantly, basically chunking at about 10 minute sections of everything you end up seeing while this thing is on. Right here is the heart of the unit. It is super lightweight and this kind of houses everything. Right here you have your micro SD card, take up to a 32 gigabyte card, and right here you have your on off switch. It's actually marked, it's pretty hard to see. The way I actually usually set mine up is so that they're mounted on the side of my DT and VSs. And the way they're set up is when I push that switch back towards me, they're on. When I slide it forward, it turns them off. And then there's also this little reset switch back here. And then you have the ribbon cable. The ribbon cable leads over to this unit here. This one's set up for a PVS 14 I housing, or in this case, DT and VS and it comes up here. And then there's a little camera that basically faces back in to that lens. So everything you see through this tube, night vision tube, ends up getting recorded on that camera and stored back here on this little mini hard drive, that micro SD card. The ribbon cable is not super huge on these. You can, if you want, however, remote mount this unit on like your helmet. It actually comes with adhesive Velcro, so you can put a piece on here, stick it to your helmet if you want. It also comes with Ranger bands. So for my own part, usually I'll go ahead and just attach them directly to the tube, find it works out well. And this unit itself, you can actually replace. So by way of example, I ended up with a set that I've used on PVS 14s. These DT NVSs have basically the same housing back here as a PVS 14, but I also used this set with some PVS 31s. So I ended up getting a replacement of this piece going over that lens, and you essentially remove that camera. It's a little double-sided tape, stick it into the new eyepiece, run that cable back, and you could run it on anything else. So if you end up upgrading your night vision, you can just swap these out and still use that mission recorder. Which brings us to how they use these and kind of the utility of them. So for me personally, these are a big deal. I'm in the business of creating content. And while I do have step down adapters for like lenses to record through, now I have to basically mount a PVS-14 or something to my camera lens, and I'm a one-man show, so I'm setting up a shot, hopping back on the firing line, like if I'm in a night vision course, hopefully I'm in frame, hopefully I'm in focus, it's a mess. Whereas these, they're mounted to my night vision, and you just turn it on, like set it and forget it. Really easy, it records everything, which is amazing. Like, really amazing and I definitely appreciate. On the front of these also, forgot to mention, basically a little micro USB. You plug them in, charge up the internal battery, you're good for about six hours. You can like remote a cable to a power pack if you needed to go past that. Honestly, six hours at night under night vision, that's a really long time, approximately six hours. I've never ran out of battery, so it's worked well for me. But being able to have these and just record everything, that's really big. Going through different night vision courses, different training, and being able to get footage, capturing exactly what I'm seeing, that's really big. And I definitely appreciate it, especially from the standpoint of content creation. I've used these quite a bit on different units, whether it's PBS 14s, these DT NVSs, or PBS 31s. 
They've done a good job. Is there anything I don't like with them? There is a couple things. One, the camera, it's not quite centered in the lens. And if it was, it would honestly block more of your view. The way it's set up is it's kind of a little bit down just out of the center of your lens, which is ideal for actually using your night vision because that's where like the best lens is with respect to the tube and everything like that. But it also doesn't quite capture everything. I get it though, because it would interfere a little bit with use. I will say these kind of disappear in use. You don't really notice them. You take everything in, but that could be addressed by basically moving the camera up a tiny bit. But the other thing I've ran into is one, it's recording in 1080 and not 4K. Is that a big deal? It is for me because I put out everything in 4K and I would like it if it recorded in 4K. The bigger issue though is essentially the camera and the probably like ISO that they're set for is when you blast IR light, like illuminating target, IR laser, IR illuminator, things like that, or you come in somewhere and now there's some sort of external illumination, it takes a little while like to adjust or even throwing up like an optic and the reticle. Again, there's that little bit of lag there. Does it matter? Not really, but it's not true necessarily to what you're seeing through here because one, your eyes are really good and auto gated tubes are really good. So boom, all of a sudden it's light and everything normalizes really quick. It definitely takes a little while for the image to normalize in here, which again, it's not a showstopper. Just personally, I would rather it work faster. Overall, they've done a good job for me though. These units also actually record audio. There's a little microphone in there. For me, I feel like there's usually a little bit of a lag when I end up going to edit as far as gunfire. I'm sure the gunfire just overpowers the microphone too, which probably doesn't help, but there is that microphone in there. And again, 1080 as far as recording and 30 frames a second. The units themselves weigh just over an ounce, which is incredibly light. Like having them on here, it doesn't, believe me, when you're wearing night vision, the last thing you want is more weight. But again, barely over an ounce, doesn't add much to it. And it gives you the capability of recording everything. So for me personally, that's a big deal because of content for someone else. I don't know, it depends. Like one, you can go run around in the dark, make cool guy videos if you want. Or the other side of it is like a legit training tool, especially if you're doing like shoot house runs and stuff like that, you can go back and review your footage and see exactly what happened. Cause you'll be like, oh no, like I think I saw this and then had to deal with this over here. And you'll look and you'll be like, well, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Maybe you just like went black and don't remember any of it. So yeah, you have a record of everything. Also inside here, you can use it or you can disable it. You can also actually set it. There's a timestamp. I have it turned off on one of them and I have it active, but definitely not the right timestamp on the other. I don't really care. It's just on there. But if that's something that's important, because again, going back to a mission recorder, like if you're going to use this in a military or law enforcement application, probably want the right timestamp on there if you're going to run that. And yeah, just another option. And as I think I mentioned before, pretty much any type of night vision device, you can get these interchangeable pieces. There's a little screw. It essentially clamps onto the tube and you can swap them out if you need to once you initially purchase the device. The AN VRS Mark III comes with basically whatever type of bracket you choose for the type of tube you're using for that camera to mount up to. And inside you have manual ranger band, little charging cable, that adhesive Velcro, all those different things. So then you just need that micro SD card and you're in business. Price wise about 110 bucks. I do wish, and hopefully they will, eventually come out with the Mark IV maybe, that will record in 4K, maybe a little quicker of a camera, but the camera does a good job and it's basically auto-focused. So whatever you end up focusing your tubes to, 
that's what's going to be in focus. Overall for me, it's a pretty awesome solution for just capturing, capturing video. And then I can go back through either to review it or to cut it together and edit it. And yeah, I definitely appreciate it. There will be a link down below if it's something you're interested in. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, patches, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month helps me go out, create more content for you, and you get access to our Discord, where if you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.